so namaste to everyone so today we will start the we will start with a pronoun okay in the last class we have completed article and from today we will start with pronoun okay and this art this path of speech is also very important for for a sentence okay in a sentence pronoun will pronoun always path in the sentence okay without pronoun you can't form a sentence okay to form a sentence you have to put the pronoun okay so let's start uh, the discussion and solution part of pronoun okay So this is um, the chapter chapter fifteen. Okay, this is chapter fifteen, and <clears throat> it is start with personal pronoun. What is personal pronoun? Okay. So the <clears throat> in these points, uh, there are discussions about personal pronouns okay so this is point number 117 we may say hari hari is absent because hari is ill okay but it is better to avoid the repetition of the noun Hari. Say Hari is absent because he is ill. Okay. And the, uh, our and the next explanation is a word that is thus used instead of a noun is called a pronoun. Okay. <clears throat> you can replace noun with pronoun. Okay definition a pronoun is a word used instead of a noun okay this is the definition of pronoun so the next point is 180 and in this point the uh, read the following sentences okay we need to read these sentences i am young okay you are young he, she, or it is young. We are young. They are young. Okay. I, we, you, he, she, it, they are called personal pronouns because they stand for the three persons. Three persons, the person speaking, the person spoken to, and the person spoken of. And the pronouns I and we, which denote the person or person speaking, are said to be personal pronouns of the first person. Okay. The pronoun you, which denotes which denotes the person or person spoken to, is said to be a personal pronoun of second person. Okay. You, 
of the personal pronoun the following are the different forms of the personal pronoun personal pronouns okay <clears throat> for first person okay masculine or feminine okay so singular and plural okay both are given in nominative nominative and the singular pronoun is i okay and in plural we say we okay i'm possessive in possessive case uh, the singular is me my mine okay in plural our ours in accusative case we say me singular and plural is us <clears throat> and in case of second person masculine or feminine singular and plural okay nominative case you singular you possessive case possessive your yours okay accusative accusative you <clears throat> so in a sentence there are three kind of case okay one is nominative case one is positive possessive case and another last one is accusative case third person third person singular and plural okay so there are <clears throat> three genders okay one is masculine one is feminine and last one is neuter so there are three cases nominative possessive and accusative in masculine he in feminine she okay and in neuter neuter gender we use it okay and possessive possessive his masculine her or hers is feminine neuter is it okay accusative accusative him masculine is 
him a feminine is her <coughs> and neuter is it and for all genders them okay and for all genders in case of possessive yes we use they are or they are okay in nominative case we use they okay note one it will be seen that the possessive case of most of the personal pronouns have two forms of these the, the forms my our your are there are called possessive adjectives okay because they are used with nouns and do do the work of adjectives as this is my book those are your book that is her book okay these are the use these are the usage of possessive adjectives okay possessive adjectives are sometimes something called pronominal adjective pronominal adjective as they are formed from pronouns okay pronominal why we call these adjectives as <coughs> pronominal adjective because these adjectives are formed from pronoun okay so now we read note number two the word is is used both as an adjective and as a pronoun okay his can be used for adjective also and it can also be used as pronoun okay this is his book here it is used as possessive adjective okay yes in this book is his okay this book is his in this sentence his is used as possessive pronoun okay <clears throat> in the following sentences the word in italic italics are possessive pronoun okay this book is mine italics italics words are in possessive pronoun okay this book is mine those books are yours that book is ours and that idea of yours is excellent <clears throat> the pronoun of the third person has three genders okay the pronoun third person has three genders so masculine he feminine she neuter it okay now we will discuss the point number 121 it the pronoun it is used for things without life as here is your book take it away <clears throat> for animal unless 
we clearly uh, wish to speak of them as male and female as female as he loves his dog and cannot do without it here it is used for the noun dog okay because um, because he does not want to disclose the gender of dog okay that is why it is denoted for dog okay the horse fell and broke its leg for a young child unless we clearly wish to refer to the sex okay for a young child okay when i saw the child it was crying that baby has torn its clothes okay. here pronouns are used <coughs> uh, so the uh, gender of the uh, young child has not disclosed okay so that is why we are referring that young child as it okay but if we know the gender of that young child then we will use he or she okay Uh, to refer to some statements going before as he is telling what is not true as he knows it he deserved his punishment as he knew it as a provisional or temporary subject before the verb to be when the real subject follows it is easy to find fault to find fault is easy okay to give emphasis to the noun or pronoun following as it was you who began the quarrel <coughs> so here it to give the emphasis okay it was you okay you is denoted as it okay it is a it is used to give emphasis about you okay it was i who first protested protested the first person who was protested by i so in that is to emphasis this first person we use it okay as an indefinite nominative of an impersonal verb okay it rains it thunders okay and the pronoun it here seems to stand for 
no noun whatever though these can be readily supplied from the farm thus it rains means the rain rains it rains means the rain rains okay so pronoun it seems to stand for no noun it is so used is called an impersonal pronoun so also the verb brains is here called an impersonal verb it so used is called an impersonal pronoun okay so uh, also the verb brains is here called an impersonal verb okay <clears throat> in speaking of the weather or the time as it is fine it is winter okay since a personal pronoun is used instead of a noun it must be of the same number gendered person as the noun for which it stands rama is a kind boy he has lent his bicycle to govind okay. he those beggars are ideal they refuse to work for their living okay so whenever you are using pronoun you need to <coughs> use the pronoun with proper gender number and person okay because if you if the person is male then you have to use he if the person is female then you have to use he okay so these rules you, you have to strictly follow these rules okay now the point is point number 130 okay in 130 uh, the details about pronoun is given okay each of the personal pronouns i he she um, she we they um, has a different form um, for the accusative case okay namely me i the accusative case for i is me okay he him she her we us they them okay it is a common mistake to use i for me okay when the pronoun is connected by a conjunction and or and and or okay now with some other and uh, with some other word in the accusative case study the following correct sentences and the presents are for you and me and not i okay 
my uncle asked my brother and me to dinner not my brother and i okay here we will use me and point number 131 okay note that but is a preposition in the following sentences nobody will help you but me uh, take care to use the accusative form after but in such cases Accusative, the example of accusative case is uh, me, him, her, us, them. Okay. Uh, so now we will do the exercise. Okay. Mm. So the exercise number twenty five. Okay. So what we need to do is in the following sentences point out the pronouns and say for each what each stands. Okay. The first question is allies was not a not a beat hard and she jumped up on to her feet in a moment. Okay. Allies was was not a beat hard. Okay. And she jumped up onto her feet in a moment. Okay. Here allies is denoted as as she and her okay uh, so pronoun are she and her okay there were doors all round the hall but they were all locked here they is pronoun for doors okay i wish i had not cried so much said allies here here i is pronoun for allies okay Hari brought his book and laid it on the table. Okay. So Hari, uh, in this sentence, his and it. His is the pronoun for Hari, and it is the pronoun for book. Karim has lost his dog. He and cannot find it. His is the pronoun for Karim and it is the pronoun for dog. If the thief is caught, he will be punished. Here, he is the pronoun for thief. Okay. So we have completed exercise number 
25 okay so now we will do exercise number 26 okay <clears throat> mm, so now we will do exercise number 26 In exercise number 26, the, we need to solve in the following sentences use pronouns in the place of nouns where wherever you can. Okay. And the sentence is the boy went into the garden where the boys saw are snake okay mm -hmm. so where the boys saw a snake okay in this sentence we can replace the boy boys with the pronoun they okay so they will be used in the place of the boys okay so now we will do exercise number 27 okay in this exercise write the correct form of pronoun in the following we scored as many goals as them okay them will be used let you and me try what we can do okay not let you and i okay you and me me is used as accusative case okay mm, we are not so poor as them okay them will be put he is known to my brother and me okay he is as good as me whom can i trust if not him none so blind as they that will not see none so blind as they that will not see okay they will be used okay not them So now we will start with chapter 16. Okay. In this chapter, we will discuss about we will discuss about uh, reflexive and emphatic 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 pronouns okay this part is very important okay because this pronoun plays a important role in every comparative examination 
ओके रिफ्लेक्सिव एंड इम्पैटिक प्रोनाउंस ओके सो इट स्टार्ट्स विथ हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू when self is added to my your him her it and sells sells self and sells sells to our your them we get what are called compound personal pronoun okay and they are called reflexive pronoun when the action when the action done by the subject turns back or reflects upon the subject as i hurt myself you will hurt yourself she hurt herself they hurt themselves you will hurt yourself we hurt our selves it will be noticed that each of these reflexive pronouns is used as object of a verb and refers to the same person or thing as that denoted by the subject of verb sometimes in older english specifically in poetry a simple pronoun was used reflex reflexively okay reflexively we use pronoun okay now i lay me down to sleep the word self is sometimes used as a noun as he cares for nothing but self he thinks much of self so the next point is 135 okay now look at the following sentences okay i will do it myself okay i myself saw him do it mm, he himself said so the town itself is not very large and they themselves admitted their guilt it will be seen that here compound personal pronouns are used for the sake of emphasis and are therefore called emphatic emphatic pronouns
so now <clears throat> we will do uh, exercise number 28 okay So, so we are asked about tell which pronouns in the following sentences are reflexive and which emphatic. emphatic pronouns are also called emph emphasizing pronouns I will go myself, okay. Here, myself is emphatic or emphasizing pronouns, okay. Rama has heard herself. Her heart is reflexive pronoun, okay. you express yourself very imperfectly here yourself is uh, reflexive pronoun okay Last one is emphatic pronoun. Second one is emphatic. Third one is reflexive.
I wash myself when I get up. Here myself is reflexive pronoun. The poor widow poisoned herself. Reflexive pronoun, okay. Reflexive pronoun. We seldom see ourselves as others see us. Here, ourselves is reflexive pronoun. Some people are always talking about themselves. Some people are always talking about themselves. Okay. Themselves is reflexive pronoun. He has landed herself in difficulties herself himself he has landed himself in difficulties reflexive with yourself like me reflexive I cannot bring myself to do it. Reflexive. So now we will start with chapter 17, okay. So chapter 17 deals with demonstrative, indefinite and distributive pronouns. Consider the following sentences. This is a present from my uncle. These are merely excuses. Mumbai mangoes are better than those of Benga Bangalore. Mm. 
make is that's a good boy okay yeah that who make makes is And that is the red hole. Okay. The stranger is welcomed as such. It will be noticed that pronouns in italic are used to point out the object to which they refer and are therefore called demonstrative pronoun Point number 137. These, that, etc. demonstrative adjectives, when they are used with nouns, as this book is mine, this horse is better than that horse, all such people are ought, ought, ought to be avoided. This refer to what is close at hand and nearest to the thought or person of the speaker. And that refer to what is over there. Over there, okay. Farther away or and more remote. This is better than that, okay? That with its plural those, okay? Is used to avoid the repetition of a preceding noun as the climate of Belgium is like that of the rivers of America are larger than those of Europe. When two things which have been already mentioned are referred to these refers to the thing last mentioned that to the thing first mentioned as virtue and vice vice offer themselves for your choice this leads to misery that to happiness. This represent vice. Okay. That represents virtue. Alcohol and tobacco are both injurious. This perhaps less than that, okay. Here this means tobacco, okay. And that means 
एल्कोहल so bye bye to everyone so this makes an end of first part of pronoun okay in the next part we will complete pronoun today we have completed 50% of pronoun